Welcome to Second Most Fishing. This is Jared Wold. Just uh, taking a look at my drag chain solution. So I have zip tie on the bottom end with a big bullet weight. Provide a little bit extra weight right at the end. Standard like half inch chain with the inner tube. Carabiner clip. The key is that I can take the chain off and then clip the carabiner clip. I usually just run it over to my my deck guides here. So I got a Yak Attack, the low profile pad eye here. Essentially is the last thing holding it on and I've got deck guides running all along. Some standard paracord. And then my challenge was in figuring out how to tie this off. Turns out the dog leash thing probably just doesn't make a lot of sense, especially if you're not going to have it be a variable. So now that pad eye right there is redundant, but I'll probably just leave it in case I need it for something. But then I got one of these track mounted side insert uh, clam cleats. And then I basically rigged up from one of my bolo bungees, just took the one of the bolos off and was able to put it on. So then now I can just go ahead and release it and obviously when it's got weight it should hopefully drop and drag just about the right amount it's a little longer than I was planning on it but it seems like a shorter shorter uh, leg on the chain doesn't seem to really do a whole lot anyways so then I've got that and the only question is whether I'll need to switch to something a little with a little less friction but then all I gotta do is jam it on the cleat, and there, there it is. And again, the dog chain, or the dog uh, leash, just again, it, it never was even powerful enough to retract anyway, so that's my solution. And I did a little bit of extra rigging on this tarp in 130X. I added side handles, which it didn't come with. So there's side handles, and then I also added a uh, a midships uh, drain plug because the drain plugs on these things are always just in a terrible position and there you have it I went ahead and also bought the uh, hatch pods that they make which are really nice they seat right in the right in here so that they can't fall in so right there I'll be able to keep my uh, sandwich and my piece of fruit for lunch and my paddle and fishing trips and then I also went ahead and bought the Orbix hatch cooler which fits right in there. It's got pretty good insulation and I can still fit, you know, I can still attach a, a dry bag or two to get inside the hull there. So that's pretty slick. So it fits right in there and then I'm able just to close up my hatch which means I might need to start locking the hatch now that I've got that in there, it's the easiest place to store it. And my Tarpon 130X is pretty much all rigged for the season. Thanks for watching.